All right, so we're back with the only game where you can create rings around objects where each particulate of the ring has the mass of the entire Milky Way. It's Universe Sandbox 2. In Universe Sandbox 2, Florida Man sits upon his porch, drinking a tall boy natty light beer, wondering what would happen if rings were around a black hole. Black holes are amazing. Rings are amazing. Rings with lots of zeros in the mass are amazing. I can only imagine that the combination will be fantastic, although it will probably destroy the Earth. It's 100% true that rings make everything better in this entire game. See this? This is the depressed Earth. It's depressed because it has no rings. Now the depressed Earth has rings. And as such, it has turned into the vaguely tolerant Earth. Here's Saturn with no rings. There's basically nothing special about it. It's just a slightly testicle-colored planet. Here's Saturn with rings. You can see now it has become Saturn that actually has a reason to live. So one of the things about rings in Universe Sandbox 2, just like pretty much everything that you can do in this game, is that you're allowed to add zeros until your finger gets tired. Universe Sandbox 2 is a game I enjoy because it likes to just go to 11 on basically everything it has to offer. Look over here, total mass, kilograms. You could also use other such things as perhaps the moon's worth of mass, or the Earth, or Jupiter, or the freaking Milky Way. What would happen if each particle of a ring was a Milky Way's worth of mass? We're gonna find out soon. <laughs> oh, this game's gonna crash today. Here we have a black hole that is going to be our basis for this test. First thing you want to do is take the slider bar and move this like that. I don't want to get too out of hand, so I'm just going to make the total mass of the objects. Uh, we'll go with one sun. You know what, let's make the height one sun as well. You're going to notice that when you use the ring creator on the black hole, it creates something that is probably more amazing than any other astral body with rings. It creates a swirling helix death swarm. I'd like to take this opportunity to mention that these particles, which each individual particle has the mass of 16 Earths, are moving at 10,000 kilometers a second. Could an Earth survive inside of this death swarm? I mean, there's no reason not to try. Just kind of grab an Earth here. I don't know. We'll put it right about there. I actually can't even see where the hell it is. There we go. There's the Earth. You can see right now, it's like Super John Wick Neo Matrixing away from all of the potential destruction. But I imagine that that's not going to last too long. I don't know right now if things are destroying the Earth or if they're phasing through it. Yeah, the Earth just got screwed. It's not good. I think the best thing about black holes is the bigger you make them, the faster the rings rotate around them. <laughs> right now I've got the rings going at uh, almost 100,000 kilometers per second. I just want to know what would happen if I fired an Earth through this. Okay, before the Earth even gets close, to the, the rings of the black hole, it's beginning to get torn apart. Actually, it's beginning to get blasted away. It's, it's almost like the speed of the spinning is creating pressure that is blowing the backside of Earth out. I don't even think that that's possible. I'm not 100% sure, but it's amazing. Earth valiantly fighting against forces that are far beyond its comprehension. Pieces of Earth ripping both forward and backward as the particles that each have... Oh, okay, the Earth just turned into like a gas giant. What the hell just happened? Uh, I think that for a moment, the Earth like turned into another black hole that absorbed a large portion of the ring, but now the ring is just going to reform itself like it's no big deal. This is interesting. The black hole with the ring is now dancing a jig. Because why not? All right, clearly the Earth isn't powerful enough. What would, ha what would happen if I threw a sun into this? 
this is one of those things where this is probably excessive, but honestly, excessive is what we do here. All right, so sun is coming in. I'm gonna go ahead and slow this way down because we're dealing with, again, rings where each individual particle has the mass of like 13 Earths and they're all moving at 10,000 kilometers per second. I'm sorry, 100,000 kilometers per second. <laughs> what was I thinking? I have a feeling that potentially like another black hole would get made. I'm not really sure. This is a sun for God's sakes. Oh, that went fast. These rings are absolutely impenetrable. There's nothing that can stop them. And I mean, we haven't even started yet. I have to get these rings moving at light speed. Each particle is now moving half of the speed of light. Okay, sun inbound toward the half light speed moving rings around the black hole. Hold on, I need to name this sun something that's that's gonna die. There we go. The sun isn't even that close to this yet, and it is already being ripped apart. Like, it is becoming really, really sad. Mmm. Nothing like stretching out the sun like a piece of taffy. Welcome to Universe Sandbox 2. So, right about now, this is probably where the sun realized that it had just screwed up. Oh, the sun just grew up. I don't know what happened. It just went from being a child to a young adult in about the span of one point, one tenth of a second. Look at this. The sun is penetrating the outer layer of ring. Is it possible? Can it get, it's getting bigger. The sun is absorbing the ring. The sun is getting bigger really fast, like a lot faster than I thought it would. It hasn't quite touched the black, Never mind. The only thing left is the sun's skid mark. In order to stop the sun from being pulled into the black hole filled with, you know, railgun speed particles, what you can do is we can actually put a sun down and then make it so it doesn't move at all. Put it like right about there. Put on the child safety locks. Now we get to see what the particles legitimately do to the sun. Yeah, it just absorbs all the particles. Did the black hole over here just get less black holy? Oh, this is awesome. It's starting to make the rings heat up. So now they're going to be molten half light speed moving rings. Okay. Uh The rings are spewing out their particles because I I, I don't know exactly why this is. I don't know if it's because of the heat that the sun is giving off. But damn. That looked good. <laughs> oh, Universe Sandbox 2. Thanks for letting me add more zeros. Each of these particles is a single fragment. Each single fragment has the mass of 81 Jupiters. I mean, they're also, you know, 4,500 degrees Celsius, but whatever. This is interesting. We're creating like a secondary ring. You have the primary ring and now the even cooler secondary freaking sun ring. We'll go ahead and speed this up. Just see what happens. Oh, the sun is reabsorbing the power of the gods. That's good. Every once in a while, the black hole just ejaculates out more stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and move this away just to see what happens. Oh, okay, what the hell? Never mind. from that distance, the sun got ripped to pieces and chucked out into the universe. However, the black hole did take some damage. Uh, the rings did take a little bit of damage. Oh, hey, this is interesting. It turned the sun into a hash brown. That's cool. I think you know what we need to do. We need to make this ring rotate even faster around a black hole. We're going all the way. Time to start doing Milky Way's level of mass. How many? All of them. Height? Yes. So, um, I just made a thing happen. Uh, I made the black hole so dense that it now acts as a galactic railgun. Anytime I put a ring around it, it fires the particles of the ring out at about 3 billion light speed. In order to understand what exactly this means. We go ahead and slow time down. We go ahead and uh, put a sun here. Because honestly, why not at this point? That is how fast the pulse 
flies from the black hole. Five that many numbers light speed. <laughs> oh, and each and each single piece has the mass of 400,000 suns. It moves so fast that even if I turn the speed completely down, there's still no way in hell to catch it. <laughs> it instantly turned the sun into a gigantic black hole. And on top of that, like I said, it's moving the speed of now that much speed. So I put an earth here and it just got hit by one of the particles. The earth didn't immediately blow up, but it's now moving 71,000 times light speed and it's starting to rip apart. I think that now physics is finally kicking in and the earth realizes that it shouldn't exist anymore. It just happened so fast that it forgot to die. Oh, this is interesting. The earth particles are now rotating. It's creating a blade of earth pieces, all of which are moving at 71,000 times the speed of light. The Earth is now starting to evaporate for some reason. The temperature of the Earth is fine, oddly. It's only, it's a, it's a nice temperate 15 degrees Celsius, even though, you know, whatever weird Blade Runner effects are happening right now, I'm kind of surprised that the Earth still has the appearance of an Earth. It's just a, it's just a, a sad, slowly shrinking earth. This is the earth after years and years of steroid abuse. And I think eventually, I would assume, the earth will finally disappear. It's now only not, oh, it's gonna just remain at 97 kilometers, surrounded by its weird martial arts star of light speed moving fragments. The earth has actually created a ring of its own light speed moving pieces thanks to the black hole with light speed projecting rings i'm gonna go ahead and leave you guys with this hula hoop of souls anyway folks hope you enjoyed this episode of universe sandbox 2 until next time stay foxy much love